Wow. So, I mean, Oklahoma is 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 absolutely loading up on the defensive end of the ball and Lewis Carter was heavily recruited. I mean, Auburn was after him. The Clemson Tigers were were also involved and he's got offers from Georgia. He's got offers from the best of the best. And this player is just a dominant football player. And you look at Pohu Adubauer from from Missouri, and there, even Caleb Spencer, I also reviewed, he was one of the earlier commits in this class. I mean, the linebacking core here at Oklahoma is just so, so versatile. And this kid is different than Adubauer because this kid is really a true off-ball linebacker that, that is going to cover, that has really good ball skills. Uh, they're going to send him on blitzes as well. But you look at what Ted Roof and what Brent Venables are going to do, and they could just pose so many different um, different looks, really. And it's going to be absolutely just sensational. And you watch this hit here. This is uh, this poor kid. I mean, th- this poor punter. This is an this guy gets absolutely decapitated. He gets absolutely rocked. This is a car crash, and he comes in just using his shoulder. I mean, this guy is an absolute just will absolutely pulverize people. Look at this. He's flying in, and he even pulls up at the very end, saying, "I didn't listen. I just hit him with my shoulder." Whew. This guy plays at a speed that is just ridiculous. This guy is a menace on the field. And, I mean, there's going to be bone-crushing hits in this defense. And and this defense that Venables is building, I mean, what, a, what an absolute just stick right here. Absolute stick from Lewis Carter. Wow, oh, wow. I mean, look at that speed off the edge, guys. I mean, am I just seeing something, or is this going to be the fastest defensive line ever assembled with Pohu and this guy coming off of the edge? And there's other linebackers that are coming. There's there's transfers that are even coming in. I mean, it is go- in practice, guys, it's going to be the most competitive linebacking core because you have McKenzie, Kobe McKenzie. You have, you know, Kip Lewis uh, that, that also committed to this. So, again... And that's how it was at Clemson. I mean, I know a kid that was unbelievable from where from where I'm, you know, from where I'm from, and he can he can, it was very hard for him to see the field at Clemson as an underclassman. So at Oklahoma, it's going to be very similar where the where the defense is like too deep, and there's guys that that might not even be starting that are clearly capable SEC starters. I mean, practice it's going to be it's going to be. Uh, what would you call it? Iron against iron, or I, I completely botched that. But uh, good on good, we could say. Iron strife, iron sh- with iron. I'll say. So look at this play. Iron sharpens. That's what it is. Watch this play here. <laughs> can even be a great running back. Can even can play both sides of the ball. Can be recruited for running back. And and I love how Oklahoma's getting proven guys. All right, like this guy. I don't think he's real. I don't think he's a project. Like there's certain guys that that have very long wingspans that you know get a lot of their plays off of busted assignments. That wow, you know they go into a strength program and in two years they're going to really be contributing. This guy. Is just a hard nosed football player with incredible instincts that just sticks people. And he's versatile. So again, like certain pl- certain, you know, people are gonna be like, oh, is he a safety? Is he a linebacker? I mean, with Coach V again, and it, this is kind of almost like basketball, it's positionless football. And you look at Isaiah Simmons, that was kind of the same way, who got drafted as a top seven draft pick and is now contributing in the NFL. I mean, it's going to be an absolute blast playing at Oklahoma. And watch how he tracks this football. I mean, he is absolutely going to be covering. So when, when you get a pass-heavy team, this guy you know, could absolutely intercept the football. So I know Pohu was an incredible recruit. This, I mean, Lewis, 
Lewis is is very exciting. All right, uh, Lewis is incredibly exciting. Lewis Carter here. All right, and now watch this play. I think this could be another stick. He really drives through uh, and, and really plays aggressive. And in high school, when you're 17, 16 years old, some guys, I mean, some guys with football still learning the game, have to learn to be aggressive. Or have to be coached up to be aggressive, but this guy does it all for this Tampa Catholic football team. This is a national recruiting class. They just got an offensive tackle out of New Jersey. All right. Um, this is a national, national class for Oklahoma that I believe might be in the top 10. And Jackson Arnold won an Elite 11. So, I mean, going to the SEC, this is going to be the deep. These are going to be the guys that are going to integrate o- Oklahoma with, uh, you know, into the SEC. This is an incredibly important class for Coach V. And, and again, Venable seems like a guy that is stable and w- knock on wood, he's at Oklahoma for a really long time. But this entire staff is going to be, woo! I mean, this is a great, great recruit and and, and commit. And we're even going to do four more commits uh, tomorrow. But uh, Lewis Lewis uh, Carter just just committed in July. I think he even took a visit to Auburn after Oklahoma. But he saw how great uh, the Oklahoma uh, Oklahoma was, the culture of Oklahoma, and also what Harson. I mean, there's uncertainty there for sure. Uh, we'll probably get to Auburn at some point. <laughs> Takes a great shot. Still finishes there. It's usually he's on the other end of those shots. Shots, shots. And... Huh. Yeah, so Lewis Carter's a stud. One of my, again, really fun player to watch. Can't wait to see what he does in college. Hope he has an awesome senior year in Tampa at Catholic.